Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore. So this will be a new series, a Minecraft survival series, where I play Hardcore in the newest version of 1.17. Now as of the recording right now, we are in the snapshot stage, so it will not be with the full release until the full release actually releases, so I can release videos with the 1.17 full release. Yes, I did that on purpose. Anyways, um... Let's do this, Banner's Hardcore Let's Play, something like that, game mode, we are going to go to Hardcore. Uh, no data packs, game rules, we're going to keep the same. Generate structures on, we'll type uh, default. Hmm, well should I go large biomes? Nah, that's going to get boring. Default, uh, seed for the world generator, uh, B, H, 117, yeah, yeah, something like that. Binary hardcore, 1.17, well, 117. Um, yeah, that's the seed I'm gonna use for this world if you wish to generate the same world. Um, and if I remember, I'll put the exact snapshot that I'm using right now up on screen. Um, but yeah, let's create a new world and see how this goes. Generating world, I've been wanting to do this for a while and you may be thinking, haven't you played hardcore before? I have, but not really. I haven't really been playing hardcore before, but let's get back to that. Let us see. Excuse me. Excuse me. When a, when a Mesa. The reason why I was so quiet was because when I made my very first vanilla survival let's play i spawned in a mesa <laughs> i can't even speak properly wait what this this is this is a new, new world this is not i didn't use that seed well then okay for those of you who remember that this is a huge throwback okay we're in a mesa biome with a lot of disrupts. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, not where I at all imagined us being, but you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but as I was saying before, while I'm just gonna get some trees, is that I haven't really played hardcore before. I rather played it on accident. One day I generated a world, wanted to just play vanilla. It was before I even started YouTube. Um, and all of a sudden I noticed my hearts being different and I was like, oh, it's in hardcore. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. I haven't played hardcore as such where I only have one life. And if I mess it up, well, then too bad for me. So this is going to be different for me. It's going to be a different experience for me because, well, I haven't tried before. Usually I'm used to having it so that I at least can respawn, but here, if I die, it's over. <laughs> Game over. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be very, very interesting. We're gonna need to get a bunch of stuff, which this should work out. Also, I should mention that I do have a pack right here from Vanilla, uh, Vanilla Tweak, sorry. Um, adding like stuff like the foliage and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have a zoom button because this is, again, 1.17. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting and I'll upgrade as the uh, snapshots come out as well so that we can get the new interesting stuff when it releases. And this is the first time I notice like, well, not notice, but like see the new ores as they are so far. Now, I, want to, I have been wanting to add other twists to this, but I haven't been able to think of anything not maybe necessarily challenges that makes it harder, but just things to make it more different, more unique. So if you guys have any ideas or anything that I could do that would make the series even better and different, let me know down below in the comments right now uh, if you have any suggestions. Okay, this is, this is, I think, doable. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're gonna die this early, but then again, 
You never know when a creeper is gonna sneak up behind you and just say hello. Oh, you have the new cover right here. This is cool. This is the first time me playing like vanilla with like the new items as well. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't zoom in to like see like stuff. Okay, this is... Hmm. Now, how much damage do you do? You know what? I don't want to know. I do not want to know. <laughs> I do really not want to know. Okay, I'm not able to mine the gold with stone, so... I'm gonna need iron. Didn't I see iron? That's iron right there. Alright, perfect. We gotta get the cover as well. Oh, that's right. When you mine this stuff, you no longer get the ores. You get the, the chunks of it. That's really cool. Now, this is what I don't like. Things that can sneak up from behind and attack me. Do I? Yeah, that, yeah. Get that up so I can hear things coming my way. Thank you very much. All right, that was only two pieces. Not quite enough for a, uh, a not a sword, a pickaxe. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Gonna make a stone axe, and I'm gonna go in a little bit more in this cave. Just to see if we can maybe get some more iron. There's some right here, actually. That's per- Oh, that's a- Nope. 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 Okay, I thought it was a ravine, but it's not. I'm gonna need a uh, shield here very quickly. Before I move on here, because, uh... Oh, hello, fellas. Hi, how's it going? I really... Well... I can take one hit, but one hit could put me to the brink of death, so I would rather not if I can avoid it. <laughs> uh, right. I have 11 pieces now. That's enough for a shield and also for me to be able to get that gold. So how about we do that and do this and boom, do that. Get a bunch of iron, get an iron pickaxe, get a shield, potentially get maybe a chest plate. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, this should be this should be good right here. Oh, I'm out of wood. I'm out of wood. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna at least get an iron pickaxe then. This is a huge cave system. Ooh, the new like leaf thingy, not leaf. Oh, ow. Okay, two hearts. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can take it. I can take it. Let's leave this to smell, actually. I want to go up because I need to get some more wood before I do continue. So let's do that real quick. Roll all the way back up. This is going to be an extremely dangerous mission whenever it has been nighttime. I'm gonna do this real quick, just in case I get lost. Right, I'm gonna get some more wood, and we're gonna go back down there. I'm gonna have to eat rotten flesh, because in in hardcore, if uh, if you starve, you're starving. <laughs> you're not gonna get saved by five hearts. No, 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 no. They're all gonna go down. You're gonna die completely. And uh, that's actually an issue that I need to take into consideration right away. Because if I go down in that mine, food is gonna be of extreme low abundance. And in that regard, the Mesa is honestly a very bad place to start because you don't, ow, you don't have a whole lot of resources to, oh, light spike, to work with. Because I love how the gold looks. Maybe a little bit too gold, maybe a little bit too bright, but I'm not gonna judge, I like it. I still like it. <laughs> but yeah, this this is going to be very interesting. It hasn't turned dark yet. So that's going to be fun. I need some more coal as well. I'm not going to smelt the uh, I'm one I'm one away from having a chest plate. Well, you know what? I'm going to make some pants then. Can't walk around without pants now, can I? All right, that's going to that's gonna help at least a little bit. I could make gold armor, of course. Oh, yeah, you know what? No gold is worth that darkness. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make any gold armor. I could, but I feel like it would be just a waste. All right, gonna have to eat some rotten flesh here. Not delicious at all. I 
do want to get if there's any iron i want to get that and then that should be it okay i'm gonna get that after there's coal there there's a skeleton here don't really need a sword though i will definitely get one eventually okay yeah it's very dark here this is uh, the optimal place for an ambush I'm gonna work quickly. The shield is potentially gonna save my life when it comes to creepers because it can take a lot of the blast. So when playing hardcore, definitely get a shield first thing first before even getting armor. Speaking of which, I see a creeper down there, which I would rather not mess around with. All I want is a little bit more iron so I can maybe get, not full, but a pretty good set of armor. Right, I sh that's a lot of iron here. I should be safe to take this. Keep an eye out. Keep my ears open as much as I can. These bats are definitely gonna not make it easy. Oh, this vein is huge. This vein is huge. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Have I ever found an ore this huge? I'm not sure. Now, unfortunately, speaking of 1.17, uh, currently the lush caves and whatnot does not generate in the world generation. I'm hoping that at one point it will. I am not sure if they are planning on adding it after 1.17, so in 1.18. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. This will be a way of exploring the new content as well added in Minecraft whenever it rolls out. All right, we have 33 iron, a bunch of coal. I say I turn tail and run. <laughs> it is probably, yeah, it's nighttime outside. Okay. Well, as long as this is clear, they can't get up here. They can't do that. So we're safe so far so they can only go down or come down to us from that angle so that's something i'm gonna cook up some of this iron and i say we get ourselves some iron armor and then in the morning food is gonna be a huge huge priority we have a lot of iron here this is actually gonna be very very good i'm actually gonna go ahead and mine some more cobblestone get some offenses going smelt the copper and gold so we have it in case we want to use it golden apples is potentially is he on my ledge? No, he's not. Okay. Good. Uh, gold could potentially become very useful if we start getting apples from those trees I chopped down. So, definitely wanna... Oh, wait. What, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? What have I played that made me do that? <laughs> but yeah, definitely want to start smelting the gold as well in case we want to make some golden apples. In case we see ourselves getting into a little bit of a dangerous situation, but I want to risk it anyway. Right. So far, so good. All right, craft a helmet, craft some boots, and we have full iron. Now, I just need a little bit more. We'll have an iron axe as well as an iron sword. And that is going to put us in a pretty... I saw that. A pretty good position. I see you up there, creeper. I do not like it. I do not like it. Let's see if we can lure him down to take care of him. Oh, he's coming down on his own. Hello. Okay. Axe. Gonna do the most damage. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. Use some of these olden tools. Right. Almost there. This place is definitely not safe as a home unless I build up a wall right here, which I actually could. Considering I do have cobblestone, I could actually put a wall right here, going across like this, and put a double door right here. That might actually be something I'm gonna do. And that's pretty much all my cobblestone right there. <laughs> uh, but I do have enough wood to make some doors. So I remove you, keep an eye out, um, place that there, put a torch here. 
here because I do not like this darkness whatsoever. Actually, I'm going to use the rest of this coal to make some more because I am paranoid about the darkness. Like so. And going to get a little bit more cobblestone. Going to make some stairs and I can do that. Perfect. And then I'm going to immediately move this stuff in where it's safe. Uh, I'm just gonna let that smelt because it just started. There's no way these guys can actually get up here. So it should be safe on that front. This means I can also now make a chest and store some basic stuff such as, uh, place it here, smelted ores and stuff. And my intention was not to make a golf chest. There we go. Other stuff for now anyway. That should do it. Right. So far, so good. Definitely want to maybe add some glass here so I can see what on earth is going on. But so far, so good. Now, I definitely don't think I want to make this my home base. Well, it will be my forward operating base for now, but I think I definitely want to move out at some point to something a little bit nicer than this. <laughs> um, but yeah, for now, this will suffice. Now, I did see a spider over here. Oh no, and a skeleton apparently. Uh, I would love some string, but maybe there will be some spiders on the surface actually. That would be ideal for us, because then we can maybe get a fishing rod and that way secure some food for us. All right, it is now daytime, as you can see, and it is time to go outside and find food. <laughs> How we're going to do that, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I saw some water pretty close by, so maybe we can have some actual fish swimming around in there. That would be pretty neat. And we will be able to hopefully get food from that. Now, I do need to be careful because this is not safe at all. Go to the open space, please. Hello. Okay. Ah, there's a spider. I'm going to take him out and hopefully he's going to drop two string. Hello. Ow. Ooh, two string. Okay. So if we don't get anything else, at least I can fish for it. <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, there's a river down here. There's a squid. Oh, wait, that's a minecart system thingy thingy. Bleh, 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 bleh. Can't speak. That's the thing. Um, not seeing any fish, though. And it does not go in. Oh, wait, it does go into the mountain. Oh, over there, too. And there. We might be able to find some neat treasure here, maybe. But again, food is a priority right now. Treasure will have to wait probably for the next episode. But I do see some salmon here, which I am definitely going to get if I can. There we go. Nice. All right. That's going to that's gonna keep me going for a little bit. I'm possibly going to do some fishing off camera for next episode. But this should be... Wait, how much was that? Five? Hmm. Would be nice with a little more. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, there's more over here. Perfect. There's a lot here. Okay, I should be settled for food for quite a while. Um, and hopefully these things actually, like, spawn in again after I have... Um, taken... <laughs> oh, I gotta watch out for my breath as well. Imagine dying the first day from drowning. That would be just awful. And I am seeing... Oh, they do spawn in. Okay, cool. I do not want to go in here just yet. I want to wait till the next episode, but that's at least one more string to my collection so I can get a bow potentially. That's a lot more fish, but I think I'm going to wait with that. What I want to do now is get up, get a little bit more wood, make a campfire, and then go down, make these salmon, cook them, and end off today's episode, because I think this is some pretty good progress right here uh, to end it off with, and some pretty interesting stuff to come back to. So let's do that, uh, if I can actually climb this thing. Okay, here we go. Also got to look for apples, because if we can make some golden apples, that'll be pretty cool. Though it doesn't look like we have any. They have possibly just despawned. 
I should probably take an, keep an eye on that when I chop these down. I could potentially turn in this into a fishing pond, actually. I could fish while watching the apples fall, and I would be pretty close to my home as well, so I might do that off camera. Because that would be pretty good, being able to fish for food. Alright, there's a zombie coming after me. He's probably gonna fall down anytime soon. Let me grab this furnace with me. There we go. And home sweet home. Right, how do we make a campfire again? I need coal, don't I? Right, not going down there. There should be a zombie over here. No? Maybe he gave up. He was like, nah, not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. Alright. Suits me. Gotta get some coal. There we go. Now, how do you make... Oh, the bundle. I completely forgot about the bundle. Okay, let me make a fishing rod. And I should be able... Ah, that's how. Right. Make the campfire right here. Boom. Uh, close you. Put on the salmon. And we should be pretty good for food for at least a little bit. Until we are able to make a farm of some sort. I think that'll probably be a priority for next episode as well. As well as... Um, Looking through that mine shaft. Let's wait for these to cook and we'll end the episode. And there we go. They have cooked. And place the next ones and eat up. Nice. And I'm gonna have to eat one more to get that regeneration. There we go. So guys, with that, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And let me know down below in the comments if you're excited for this series, because I am. And I cannot wait to make more of these, because, as I've said, I haven't played hardcore really before, so this is, this is a new experience for me. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, I'm probably going to trigger a lot of people's... Um, yeah, just trigger people in general in this series, because I'm going to do stupid things, most likely. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and... Goodbye. Did I just hear an Enderman? I'm, I'm not... No. Nope. I'm just gonna sit here and cook my fish.